purpose of uh, this uh, video is to show how to jump out a 06E terminal plate assembly, preparing it for installation and assembly. Uh, as you can see, this terminal plate right now is bare and it has jumpers on it. On a 9-lead plate, this plate is now set up for multi-voltage. What the first thing you do when you're doing setting up multi-voltage is you put, take the plate the way it is and you put your jumpers on. Uh, your your um, phase protector boards. Then you follow the diagram at the beginning of this. At the beginning of this, wiring how the nuts and jam nuts are go. So you put your first jam nut on on both, and then you put you put your second jam nut on. And uh, this is wired right now for 208 volt across the line. You put your power on one, two, and three. And these are wired just like this. And your third one goes here. The thing you have to remember is to follow the paperwork that always comes out with the compressor. And we have here, which shows the jam nuts. And the way they have to be set up is you have the one nut on the bottom, which you never disturb. That's pre-torqued. You have the second nut, which is called the jam nut. And you have your third nut, which your wire will go under. But it's very important to have these two nuts between so you have great contact. Let's go back to what we find in the field. What we find in the field is that these jumpers all the time are dropped on just like this. Now, if you look at this plate, and I just put jumpers on, and you say, okay, this looks like it's ready to go. Well, when you look at the jumper connections and you follow the diagram, you'll see something that's not right. What's not right is this is facing in a U-shape towards the top of the plate. The way it has to be is has to be facing down. And the reason why is condensation and operation will cause liquid water to accumulate in here, which would cause a short. So in this particular case, this is your wiring. You put your jumpers on here. You put one set of jumpers, two set, and three. So they're all wired, and then your power leads go on these. Remembering that always, side of the plate has to show the jam nuts and the nut. Everyone seems to leave this out, and the end result is this board overheats and starts to melt down. Like in every video we do, at the end we'll always show you the pros and cons. In this particular case, the don't is doing it this way. The second don't is don't just drop the jumpers on the terminals and then put your nut here. That's not correctly wired.